Well, if you're talking about feasting on agriculture in Louisiana, you can pretty much bet that rice is on the plate. That's the case in this edition of Feasting on Agriculture, where Twyla's A.J. Sabine takes us to New Orleans to meet a chef who once worked with the world-famous Paul Prudhomme. Feasting on Agriculture with A.J. Sabine is brought to you by the Louisiana Crawfish Promotion and Research Board. Louisiana Crawfish, ask before you eat. By the Louisiana Rice Promotion Board, think rice and by the Louisiana Beef Industry Council. Beef, it's what's for dinner. Hey there folks, I'm AJ Sedine and welcome to another exciting edition of Feasting on Agriculture. We're in front of Brighton's Restaurant here in the Riverbank community of New Orleans, my hometown. This month we'll show you how to make the absolutely best dirty rice you've ever tasted. Let's go inside. We're in the kitchen of Bryson Restaurant here on Dante Street. Joining us now, of course, Frank Bryson. What are we making today, Chef? Well, today, AJ, we're going to make one of the most popular dishes at Bryson's Restaurant. Roast duck, mm. with dirty rice, and a tart, dry cherry sauce. Outstanding, because if you're in New Orleans, you don't want clean rice. You want dirty rice. Am I right? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> I mean, you know, there's so many wonderful, traditional, classic dishes in Louisiana cuisine, and they're classics for a reason. And I think dirty rice is one of the best. All right, let's get started. I see right. you got a, a cast iron pan here. Cast iron skillet. We're going to make our dirty rice. We do it always in cast iron. And I happen to have some duck fat. Oh, shame on you. This is already starting good. I know. So, this is going to be great. And for my dirty rice, I use ground beef to start. Why did you choose the beef instead of a pork or a gizzard like my grandmother used to start right. with? Well, that's a good point because traditional dirty rice is meant to use the gizzards and the livers from the poultry, whatever it might be. We're going to brown this meat uh, hard, hard, as we say, All right. in this duck fat. In cooking, color is flavor, and brown is the color of flavor. There you go. So we want to brown this meat. Uh, I'm on high heat. You can see it's already starting to get almost crispy on the edges which is what I'm looking for. This meat is pretty well brown now. As you can see, we have some nice crispy edges on it. And so we're going to go into the next phase, which is going to be our aromatic vegetables. We're using onion, celery, and bell pepper, and also a bay leaf. How much of a time saver, I mean, it's, it's apparent by your mise en place, but how much is a time saver to do all this prep work in advance before you before the first bit of protein hits the, the fire? Oh, I, I think it's the best way to cook, you know, and like I say, at home, you know, you know, life is kind of a free-flowing enterprise, and sometimes you'll get distracted, doorbell rings, the dog needs to go out. If you can get all this done first, you can concentrate on the recipe and get into the rhythm and flow of the dish. Chef, you've been doing this for 30 years. You've worked with some of the best chefs in the business, including the late uh, Paul Prudhomme. What has been the most inspirational thing that you've learned about Louisiana cooking and, and rice and using agricultural ingredients grown right here in the Pelican State and incorporating those into your menu here at Brighton? Great question, and I couldn't have asked for a better mentor because Paul Prudhomme grew up in the Opelousas area on a farm. Mm -hmm. His dad was a sharecropper. And his mom, Mrs. Prudhomme, had to cook three meals a day for her family with 13 children. Oh my goodness. So that tells me that she had to be a very resourceful cook and utilize what's fresh in the field. So this is farm to table long before we had a name for it. I'm listening to my vegetables, AJ. I can what is hear them. What does that mean, Frank? What does that mean? You're all, listening to this. <laughs> all the senses come into play when you cook. You notice I haven't been stirring. No, you haven't. We've been talking. That's true. And that's sure. deliberate because the, the vegetables have a lot of water or moisture in them. So I'm letting that water steam away. And as they dry out, they'll start to squeak a little louder. And they'll say, Frank, stir me. <laughs> so I'm going to give them a little stir. And I can see it's starting to stick on the bottom of the pot, which is good. I'm now going to lower the heat a little bit, and I'm going to add just a touch of minced fresh garlic. You have to be gentle with garlic so you don't burn it. Uh, it just takes a minute or two 
to lend its flavor to the dish. I'm going to do something that's a little unusual for dirty rice. Okay. I'm going to add some peeled diced eggplant. First time I've ever heard of that. Why? Oh. Why, chef? So stick with this one. And in late summer, mid to late summer, you'll find uh, locally grown eggplant in the farmer's markets, in your grocery. Uh, and it, you want to take advantage of that, and you can find different ways to enjoy it. Uh, and this is an unusual uh, ingredient in dirty rice, but this is my reasoning. And I learned this from a great chef I worked with at Cape Paul's named George Rose. Okay. What happens is this eggplant will cook down, cook down, and get mushy, almost creamy. Okay. It's going to disappear. And what it does is that creamy eggplant helps the rice, uh, the, the seasoned meat mixture, coat the rice. Okay. So it adds uh, a nice texture to it. I had never heard of that before. It's very unusual, but if you haven't tried it, give it a try. Trust me on that. After a puree of chicken liver, duck stock is added. Now it's time for the star ingredient. It's time for the rice. This mixture's coming to the boil, and I'm gonna add one cup of Louisiana-grown aromatic rice. Now, I love popcorn rice, any of the aromatic rice, the jasmine-type rices, they have so much flavor. Rice should not be an afterthought. No, sir. Um, not in Louisiana. If you make red beans and rice, for instance, and you put all that hard work and love into a, a big party pot of red beans, don't serve it with bland, mushy rice. Take the time to learn how to cook it properly, and I'm going to help you with that. Thank you, Chef. As this mixture is boiling, I'm going to stir in the raw rice. That's a cup. Did you know, Chef, that there is a uh, aromatic or jasmine rice grown here in Louisiana called Jasmine? That's the brand we use at Brightson's Restaurant. All right. All right. Now, this mixture has come back to the boil. I'm now going to turn it to very, very low, as low as I can get it, and we're going to cover the pot. Well, great, Chef. Well, while you got that covered, when we come back, folks, we're going to show you how this wonderful dish, the dirty rice and duck, comes, back, comes out. When we return, stick around, we'll be right back. After a quick saute of julienne carrots, Napa cabbage, yellow squash, and blanched green beans, this dish is almost ready to plate up. And these just need to warm up a little bit. A 1998 James Beard Award winner, Chef Brighton loves to share his love and knowledge of Louisiana cuisine. It's been around well over 200 years. It's still evolving, still developing, and I'm proud to be a small part of it. But I believe in sharing that, and, and so I teach off and on at Nickel State at the John Coles Culinary Institute, and I teach off and on at NOCA here in New Orleans, in New Orleans Center for the Creative Arts, so that I can pass on what I was given from Chef Paul. You're actually teaching, and uh, as a member of your staff, my brother from another mother, uh, Greg Dawson, actually works for you. Oh, yeah. Greg's one of my favorite people in the whole world, and we met at Nickel State when he was a student there. He was in my class, and um, he came to work for us once he got finished with school, and he's been here ever since. And um, we, we just love being with Greg, and um, he loves what he does. He's got that passion, the willingness to make people happy no matter what it takes, and he works hard at it. Chef, I gotta try this duck. I agree, you have to try this duck. It looks beautiful, it's it's so pretty I don't wanna eat it. I just wanna like oh. have a canvas and some oil with a nice glass of wine and paint it. <laughs> well you know, this is one of those dishes on our menu um, that I call a craver. Oh. When people think of our roast duck, they come in specifically for that, you know, and so we always have it on the menu. Always with dirty rice, and uh, we change the sauce seasonally, you know, uh, cherry sauce during the warmer months, and we'll have that Louisiana naval orange sauce in the cooler months. I bet you that's fantastic. I'm gonna try a little bit of the duck with the rice. I'm just gonna take this crispy corner here. Well, you know, you told me, told me about getting the corners because it's all crispy, <laughs> with that right. fancy word you use that I can't remember, but right. uh, anyway, I'm gonna try this with some of the rice. And I wanna, again, thank you, you and your staff for hosting us for this Months oh, of agriculture. And the BA de Resistance. Mm. You know, you're right. The cherry sauce hits that background and just brings it all together. 
And of course, the skin is absolutely crispy and fantastic. So, Chef, tell us where can folks go if they want to find out more about your restaurant, if they want to make a reservation or catch one of your classes? Well, sure. We can uh, offer you our website, which is brightsons.com. The hard part is spelling Brightson, <laughs> B-R-I-G-T-S-E-N. But brightsons.com, you can learn a lot about us. Um, the telephone number for reservations is 504-861-7610. And uh, give us a call. Um, we do dinner only. We're closed Sundays and Mondays. Well, I mean, folks can't see this on camera, but you're, you're actually, the restaurant is housed in a beautiful New Orleans home, as I like to say. It's really, really gorgeous. That's right, and it's one of the reasons I chose this spot, because as soon as I opened the front door, it felt like New Orleans, you know, and it was the size restaurant I wanted. We seat about 65, and we're at an old house in the River Bend neighborhood of Uptown, um, where Carrollton and St. Charles meet the river. This building's about 150 years old. Wow. Lots of history, lots of flavor, and nothing like this particular dish, and nothing like Louisiana rice with this beautiful, beautiful duck. It has indeed been a pleasure. Thank you again, Chef Frank Bryson here at Bryson's Restaurant in the lovely River Bend community of New Orleans. That's all from here, folks. We'll see you next time. Feasting on Agriculture with A.J. Sabine was brought to you by the Louisiana Crawfish Promotion and Research Board. Louisiana Crawfish, ask before you eat. By the Louisiana Rice Promotion Board, think rice. And by the Louisiana Beef Industry Council, beef, it's what's for dinner.